So we just announced that we're relaunching the Artist Spotlight at the end of this month. So if you haven't already, go ahead and share your art with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or by email. In today's video, we're drawing the Ender Dragon from Minecraft. Now we're going to be drawing our character from a side three-quarter perspective. So let's start on the bottom left of our page with the inside edge of the head. So starting down here, start with a straight line coming down towards the bottom. And then going back up to the top, we're going to draw two straight angled lines going up towards the left and right. So we'll start with the left side with that same length line. Go up and out towards the right. And then we'll close off the bottom of the head. Starting from the bottom, we'll draw that same angled line going up and out. And then we'll connect the top and bottom with the straight line. Let's go all the way over to the left side and draw a line coming down about halfway to right about there. And then we'll follow that same angle line coming down and in. Let's draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting from the outside, angle down and out. Go to the inside, draw that same length line. And then again, we're just going to close that off with that same angled line. Now we're going to add some thickness to the mouth. From the outside and inside corners, we draw two short lines coming down of equal length. Close off the bottom with a straight line. I'm just going to follow this back up and in towards the head. And now we're going to open up the mouth, starting back on the inside, angle down towards the bottom, come straight down. I'm just going to pull that back up underneath the head. And we'll draw the front edge of the jaw, starting from the top, draw that same angle line going up. Go to the bottom and draw that again. And close off the side with a straight line. And we'll pull the mouth coming up underneath the jaw. So taking that same angle line, going up and in. Let's add in the nostrils. From this corner, we're gonna step up, draw a straight line coming in, go straight up along the side, and then we'll close this off. Let's line up that top point over on the left side. Draw another line coming down. Go up and in. And then pull that back up towards the top. Let's go to the inside and add in the eyes. Leave a gap in the center. Start with two short lines going up. Angle is up and out towards the side. And then we'll go back up towards the top. I'm just gonna pull the eyes going out towards the side of the head. Now we're going to add those horns along the top of the head. Starting from this point, we'll step up, draw a straight angle line coming back, go up along the side, and then we'll close off the top. And then from the left corner of the head, we're going to step in, draw an angle line coming back, go up towards the top of the horn, and then we'll close this off. Now we're gonna draw the back of the head in behind those horns. Start from the top left, angle up and in. Go to the right side, go across in behind the horn, and then we'll continue that in between. Now we're gonna curve the neck going back in towards the body. From the top corner of the head, we're gonna step down, curve in, bend that up, round up the top, and then go back in towards the body. Let's go down towards the bottom, step up, going to trace that same curve, coming in and then up, round this out, and we're just going to line this up with the top line. Let's close this off with a straight line. Now let's draw the top of the neck. Starting from that top corner, draw a straight angle line coming back, and then again we're just going to follow that curve, going out and then down, round up the neck, and then pull that in towards the back of the head. Let's add some spikes across the center of the neck. Starting from the inside, just draw a short line going up, and leave a gap, curve up along the back. Again, leaving another gap. It's gonna go over towards the right, to right about there. And then from the end of each line, draw a straight line going up. and then we'll follow that same line along the bottom going across the top.
Let's draw the front edge of the body. From the top of the neck, we're going to step out, draw a straight line going up, and we're going to angle down and across towards the right. Come straight down towards the bottom of the body, and we'll follow that same angled line going up underneath the neck. Let's draw the front edge of the body coming out towards the back. Starting from this point, angle up and out towards the right. Now from this point, we're going to layer the front wing on top of the body. Let's start up here, come down and out, step up, draw that same length line. And we'll close off the end with that same angle line of the body. From the ends, we'll draw two equal length lines coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll close off the bottom. Let's go to the inside of the wing, draw another straight line coming down, and we'll close off the bottom, coming down with an angled line. Now we want to bend the wing coming down towards the bottom. Start from that bottom corner, come down and out. Let's flatten off the bottom with an angled line. Let's go all the way up to the top. We're going to continue this line going all the way out towards the back of the wing. Now we're going to come down towards the bottom, draw that same angle line going up. We're going to leave a gap along the top, and it'll taper this out towards the tip of the wing. Let's go back down to the bottom, angle up and in, and follow that line going up underneath the top section of the wing. Now we're going to add a curved bone along the center of the wing. Starting from this point, come down and bend that out, and then we'll taper that back in towards the wing. Let's connect the top and bottom with the curve. Come in, and then back out. Connect this point to the inside of the wing with another curve. Coming up, and then down. Now we're going to go back and draw the bottom of the body coming in towards the front set of legs. From this point, angle up and out, draw a short line going up. And then from the top and bottom, draw two short angle lines coming down. Close off the end with a straight line. Let's go back to the bottom corner, go across, angle down towards the ankle. And we'll go back up to the top, draw that same angle line going back, and then come down towards the bottom of the foot. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now let's go back to the elbow and draw that same angle line coming back in towards the body and then we'll close off the top. Let's go to the inside of the ankle, angle up and in and then pull that up underneath the leg. Let's wrap the foot around that ankle starting from this point, angle down and out with a short line, come down towards the front of the foot. I'm going to angle this up and in, and we'll pull this in behind the leg, so leaving a little overlap along the bottom. Now from these three points, we're going to draw a short line coming down towards the bottom of the feet, and we'll close this off. A straight line along the front, and going all the way towards the back. Now we're going to draw that same foot over on the left side tucked in underneath the body. Let's line this up, going all the way across down along the front of the foot, come down the sides, and then we'll close off the bottom. And then from that bottom point, angle up and in, go up, draw that same length line, and then we'll close off the back. Let's go back to the front of the foot, angle up underneath the body. Let's continue the body in behind the front leg going up and out in behind the wing. Now we see the top edge of the hind leg in behind the wing. So let's start up here, angle up, and we step over, draw that same angled line, and then we'll close off the top. And then from the top right corner, come down towards the bottom, go straight up 
and out towards the back. And I'll pull that straight down in behind the wing. Let's go back up to the top, draw another straight angle line coming in. And I'll pull that down and in behind the leg. Now I'm going to close off the back of the body, starting from the top, come straight down in behind the leg. Let's close off the back of the body. We're going to start from the top right. We're going to draw that same length line going up and then out. Close off the back with a straight angle line. And we'll add three spikes along the back of the body. Starting from the center, angle back, leave a gap, do that two more times. And then just like we did with the neck, on the ends, draw a straight line going up, equal length line. And then we'll close off the top. Let's draw the back wing in behind the body. We're going to line this up, going all the way over towards the side of the body. Go up, and then out. And then from the end, we're going to angle up towards the back of the wing to right about there. Let's go back to the inside, step across on the same length line, coming up to about there. Now we're just going to taper this all the way towards the back of the wing. And then we'll draw the front edge of the wing, starting from the outside. Draw a short line coming down, and we'll follow that same line coming back in. Now we're going to bend the bottom of the wing coming down towards the left, starting from that corner, and go down and out, step in, draw another line coming down, close off the bottom with a straight line. And then from that bottom corner, angle up and in, and go all the way back up underneath the wing. Now we're going to add that same webbing along the inside of the wing. Starting from the top, go across and then down behind the body. Let's go to the bottom of the wing, go up and in behind the body. Now we're going to go back and draw on the tail. From the right corner, we're going to step in, curve this up and then down, round up the tail and then pull that back up. Let's flatten off the end of the tail with a straight angled line. Now we're going to follow that same curve, coming down and then up, and round up the top of the tail, and we'll just pull that back in toward the back of the body. And we'll add some thickness to the tail, starting from the right side, draw a straight line coming down, and then again we're just going to follow that same curve, coming down and across, pull that up and then in towards the back. And then we'll add those same spikes across the back of the tail, starting right in the center, going out, leave a small gap. We're just going to follow the same curve of the tail, going all the way towards the right. And then from the end of each line, draw a short line going up, and then we'll close off the top, that same line we have along the bottom. Just work our way over towards the right. One more on the end. And that's pretty much it. There's the Ender Dragon from Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.